Hi everyone, today let's take a look at how to install Java on your MacBook. So first of all, let's check if you already have Java version installed. Hit on your keyboard, command space, enter terminal, enter, or type or paste <coughs> Java dash version. So it would say something like comment not found or as in my case operation couldn't be, <coughs> couldn't be completed. Now let's go to this website. It's Oracle Java download page. The latest available right now is GDK 21. But depending on when you will be watching this video, there will be, might be upper versions available, doesn't really matter for the purpose of this video. So here you click on Mac OS and here you see a few links. So um, <coughs> you would want to download ARM64 installer for if you're running on Apple chip and uh, this one x64 if you're running on Intel chip how to check it the settings about this Mac see I have Apple chip and I'm running Mac OS Sonoma the latest one so I'm going to download this one A moment. Okay, it's downloaded. Now you go and run it. <coughs> double click on it, double click. Yes, continue, just follow instructions, install for users, yes, not need to change anything, install, enter password, all successful, move to trash, um, okay, so this is described what I have just done. Now let's see what we will see in the terminal again. Java dash version, space dash version. So it's already showing um, as it can see that some Java version installed. But if you have some issues, if you will not see these lines with the uh, version number after installation, you can do the following. <coughs> you would want to add Java Home environment variable in your terminal config file. So go to user folder, open it in Finder. So let's say cdt slash open space dot here is my user folder, then you can press command shift dot to see hidden files. You will need this file, the zshrc. So since terminal here on the top says zsh, it, it means that terminal is using zsh command line tool, but you might be saying uh, bash then uh, it means that you your terminal is using bash on the command line tool you will need to create dot bash profile file so um, i already have this one in my OS in my folder here it is but if you don't have it run uh, touch dot zsc it will create empty file for bash if you have bash run this one 
and then you can go ahead, go ahead and uh, open this config file in any text editor. I'm going to do it from a terminal by using double click. It will open uh, in text edit, or we can do it like this: open with text edit. So my config file already have some some lines inside uh, for different programs. Doesn't matter. All I care about is to add in this one. Yeah, and before we need to find GDK folder name. So we can go to this location. Let's do CD. Let's do open dot. So here is, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste the name of the folder. In my case, it's this one. So now I need to copy this and paste it into my dash c file we can do this on the very top okay now save command s command q to close it <coughs> and after you perform these changes in your config file basically you need to restart and close all your terminal windows in order them to reread those settings that you added we're going to close this one Open it again, and one more time, Java space dash version, to see that nothing is broken, still there. And one more thing, I'm going to go and check if I can run my project in IDE. So you will need to, if it's the first time when you're opening your IDE or your project or you're creating from scratch, most likely you will have to go and uh, add select install JDK in your ID in file project structure. So let's do that. Let me say ID. Here it shows that some uh, lines of code are read. It means that it doesn't see what we installed right now. I mean Java version. So we go file, project structure, SDK, here we need to select, you can either uh, specify the location manually or it will be prompting it for you, as in my case, I'm going to go, go ahead and hit this one. JDK21. I will give it a name, apply, ok, let me check one more thing, project language level. So if your project is using uh, some oldest Java versions like 7 or 8, for example, you might want to specify language level in here. I'm gonna leave it as is, but uh, my project is written with Java 8, so let's see if it will work or not. I'm going to run something, specifically this test. Just some test for target website for the sake of example. Yeah, it's fast. So basically, it doesn't complain. My project doesn't complain, or ID doesn't complain about a different Java version or something. So basically, that's it. 
uh, it works source code can be run and executed and again your goal is to have these lines uh, to be displayed after running uh, java space dash version command that's it for this video i hope it will be helpful for someone see you in the next one